Observing planets is challenging due to the brightness of their host stars, making it difficult to see them directly. Despite this, astronomers can still gather information about rocky extrasolar planets and their unique characteristics. Some of these distant planets are unlike anything found in our own solar system, making them truly alien worlds. The universe is full of planets. Astronomers have confirmed more than 4,500 worlds, with over 1,500 of these being rocky terrestrial planets. The rocky planets in our solar system are quite different from each other. But when looking at systems around other stars, the diversity we see in our solar system is left in the dust. These distant worlds can be amazingly bizarre, unlike anything we have imagined. Some are super Earths, some rain rocks, some have winds that rage at thousands of kilometers an hour, and others are made of diamond. Astronomers can make educated guesses about the properties of a planet to develop a detailed model. This is what grad student Tue Jiang Nguyen at York University did with his colleagues. The planet they were looking at, K2 141b, was orbiting ridiculously close to its parent star, located about 200 light years from our solar system. To imagine what this world was like, they made a few key assumptions. 1. They assumed the planet was tidally locked to its star. This seemed like a reasonable assumption, considering the planet completes a full revolution around its star in just 7 hours. Nguyen and his team developed a one-dimensional model that took into account how mass, momentum, and energy would flow from the scorching hot day side to the cold night side. What they found painted a picture of a hellish planet. On the day side, temperatures reached 3000 degrees Celsius, hot enough not only to melt rock, but to vaporize it. When a main sequence star ends its life, it puffs up into a red giant. Planets orbiting these red giants will meet a very sad end. If they are close enough, they may be swallowed whole. Later, the red giant will expel its outer layers as a planetary nebula, and the core will collapse into an Earth-sized stellar remnant, a white dwarf. Yet, the planets will live on, sort of. The rocks and minerals swallowed by the star will become disassociated into their corresponding elements. Astronomers can look at these polluted white dwarfs, and actually piece together what the planets orbiting the stars used to look like. Taking detailed observations of the atmosphere of white dwarfs, they reconstructed these dead planets. In their small sample of 23 white dwarfs, they found a huge variety of potential minerals. In fact, the variety was so huge that many of the minerals they found have no counterpart in our solar system. This diversity of minerals will affect the major characteristics of a planet. Will it have mountains, plate tectonics, a thick or thin crust? In fact, Many of the planets potentially had mantles consisting of orthopyroxene, whereas olivine is dominant in the Earth's mantle. This would change the thickness of the crust, affect plate tectonics, and maybe disallow it altogether. A variety of things, such as volcanoes or plate tectonics, can affect the habitability of a planet. Plate tectonics make the surface of a planet come alive. Having segments of the crust that can move helps a planet regulate its temperature. Volcanoes can also cycle the atmosphere of a planet, helping to replenish gases that would otherwise be lost to space. By tinkering with the attributes of the planet, like its size, interior temperature, and composition, along with properties of the star and its proximity to the planet, they were able to make predictions about the outer layer of the planet, the lithosphere. They found that usually, smaller, older, or planets far from their host star are more likely to have a thick outer layer. But there are exceptions, like when planets possess a lithosphere only a few kilometers thick. They dubbed these worlds eggshell planets. One possibility is how they were formed. The protoplanetary disk might have different compositions, and the planets were formed at different conditions, Shu said. These differences could have to do with previous generations of stars, a history passed down through millions of years, finally reflected in the characteristics of the newborn planet. Or they could be associated with formation mechanisms and properties of the disk itself, such as temperature and pressure. 